everyone. Uh, my name is uh, Abu Karim. I'm the director of Center for Development of uh, Academic Excellence, University of Science Malaysia. And with me, I have uh, Dr. Mahalichmi. Dr. Mahalichmi is the uh, editor of the, Pet, the Petri Dish, which is a, um, a newspaper, is it? It's a monthly newspaper. It's a monthly yes. newspaper which communicates uh, science to the, to the public. So um, maybe before we talk about science communication and the program that we have uh, in USM today, uh, maybe Dr. Maha can introduce yourself uh, very briefly. Okay, sure. So I'm the Executive Director for Malaysian Biotechnology Information Center. It's a not-for-profit organization and we are dedicated to create public awareness on biotechnology to all stakeholders, politicians, policymakers, scientists, teachers, media, students, farmers, religious scholars. Mm -hmm. And um, as you said, I started, um, I mean, we started the Petri Dish in uh, February 2011. Mainly the reason was to bring science to the public domain mm -hmm. because researchers do great job in the laboratory but it ends up in journals yeah. and journals is only read by their peers yeah. so we want science to be read and known and to become part of culture lifestyle policies mm -hmm. regulations mm -hmm. so we wanted to put science in a public domain so we started the petri okay i think that's a very good uh, initiative we want to bring science to the masses to yes. the public yes um, but um, in general uh, scientists you know um, they have to publish in the mm, journal, mm. so that is basically something that they have to do. Yes. Um, and sometimes, uh, you know, we should be doing to achieve the KPI for mm. the university. But then, uh, in, in general, I think scientists are, are quite hesitant or quite reluctant to communicate science to the public. I mean, writing for the newspaper yeah. or, or the magazine, mm. uh, to communicate what they do in the research at the university. And, and, and communicate it to the public in such a way that the public can understand. Why, why do you think scientists are quite uh, hesitant to, to do this? Now, Prof. Karim, there are many reasons for this. One is uh, scientists are not trained to um, engage the public okay. uh, because you know, yeah. public are non technical people yeah. and they need a different style, different tool, different language, different messages. It has to be framed in a different way. So, scientists are not trained to be do a that. Different skill set as well. Maybe. It's completely a different skill set. <laughs> Um, okay. And scientists are more the technical jargons, so they are used to yeah. that type of thing. Yeah. Number two, scientists don't have the time. Mm -hmm. So we can't completely blame scientists or researchers <laughs> as well. They don't have the time. They have, their core duty mm -hmm. is to teach, research, of course some administrative work, mm -hmm. supervise students. So that is their core duties. So, uh, and then number three, scientists also don't want to talk to media because media, it's very difficult to get the message across. Okay. And then media tend to misquote, misinterpret, and then put scientists in an embarrassment position. So, <laughs> yeah, so the, or these are the reasons. And then there's also another reason where, okay, if you, you are a scientist yeah. or researcher, now, if you communicate, does it help you to become a professor? Does mm. it help you to climb up the ladder? Yeah, yeah. So these are the problems. So the KPI is more for you need to have students, you need to have um, patents, you need to publish in journal papers, okay. not popular media. Yeah. So I think what, you know, at least I can think of three measures for universities and research institutes to take. Okay. One is provide training for scientists, like what you're doing now. Yes. You know, there's a really great initiative. Mm -hmm. Provide training for scientists on science communication. Mm -hmm. Number two, increase the KPI. If they engage the public, they get their articles published in blogs, mm -hmm. in newspapers, okay. give them incentives that that is going to help them to, you know, in their career advancement. Number three, this is at a policy measure. I strongly think universities, research institutes, like how you have unit corporate, you need to have a science communication office. Ah, At least with okay. two people, yes. two trained people in science communication. <coughs> they can help uh, scientists to translate their research for the public, for the masses. Mm. So, and then they can also, if the scientists are invited for a media interview, for a radio interview, this science communication office can groom the scientists before they go for the interview. So I think this, at least these three measures has to be in place. Oh, that's great. Uh, I think those are the three um, good measures that the university should uh, take up. Especially, uh, I think one of the um, reasons I think why scientists are hesitant uh, are probably mainly due to the uh, lack of recognition yes, yes. and incentive perhaps. Yeah. So I, I think uh, I agree with you that we should put this as one of the three measures that yeah. you mentioned. Uh, apart from having a special training like mm -hmm. what we are doing mm -hmm. here, 
uh, to give them a, a different skill set and, yeah. and master the new skill set. Yes. To communicate something very technical. Exactly. As Einstein said, you know, if you try to make it simple to the, to the extent that your grandmother yes. can understand that it's yeah. not easy to do. It's not easy yeah, to do. Yeah, it's not easy to do. Mm -hmm. And having a special team, you know, mm -hmm. to communicate science yes. uh, for the university. And to support and the and scientists. To support you know, and facilitate. To, yeah. yeah. So uh, overall, uh, the two-day program that we have uh, mm -hmm. is the second day. Yeah. So what's your uh, feedback? Okay, I, yeah. I really think, first of all, thank yeah. you so much. Okay. And I'm so happy that USM <laughs> is looking at science communication as a, as a need and as like a mainstream uh, field. And I'm happy with this progress. And I must say, particularly this batch, they are so keen. Mm -hmm. I can see that they're keen. They're okay. not sitting here because the university asked me to come. Yeah. The university forced me to come. They are really engaging. Mm -hmm. They are really thinking. They are already. I think they always have switched their mind to think how they can translate their research. They are research. really into it. Eh? They are into okay, it. So good. I'm. Yeah. I'm sure your initiative is going to be a success. Okay, that's good. That's yeah. Good so thank you, thank you very much, Dr. Mahan. And I must also, uh, before that, I must yeah. also tell you, uh, you know, congratulations on an initiative okay. to start the blog. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's one of our uh, online initiative uh, this year and this one of the big uh, yeah. agenda. Uh, the idea of the blog is actually to, uh, again, uh, as, as, a, as a medium, to uh, bring our research to the masses mm. so that's why we have to create a pool of uh, writers yeah. which basically our academic staff mm. that that have that have uh, interest to share yes, yes. and also to write mm. but we have to provide uh, training for them yeah. so that's why yeah. Dr. Maha is, mm. uh, is here and hopefully uh, we can work together with the uh, petri dish yes because we need to you know that your i mean your experience yeah. is, is very useful for us so hopefully we can collaborate on this project and this blog uh, is called uh, tentatively, uh, spe simply speaking. Very nice. Yeah. Simply speaking. Yeah, simply speaking, because we want to communicate technical stuff mm -hmm. in a simple language that the public can can understand. So again, uh, on on behalf of uh, Science Malaysia, uh, we would like to thank Dr. Maha for helping us and to be here for two days to share your expertise and. Uh, to the public out there, uh, wait for our blog Simply Speaking and when we launch it, uh, perhaps uh, next month, I hope you will support us, uh, be our readers and share our blog, you know, with the public, uh, you know, uh, all over the world. So thank you Dr. Maha, thank you very much. Thank you Prof. Karim so, yeah. and congratulations and all yeah. the best and as you said, Petri Dish and Mavic will continue to support your initiative. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you.